Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Made for Love and this is DM download pick a card version. Okay. So whilst I shuffle the cards, we're just gonna absorb the energy of the music, okay? So let's get into our reading. So we have three piles, roads, quartz, the clear, quartz, and Amazonite. Pick your pile and let's get into our DM download pick a card version, okay? Alright, so rose quartz, you're up first. My favorite stone, by the way. <clears throat> Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to look at the energy of the karmic situation. I'm gonna pick two cards. I'm gonna get two cards. Then we go into the energy of the divine union, the collective energy. And then what DF or the twin watching this video has to work on. <coughs> two cards. What's happening in the karmic situation in this part? What's happening? See what's going on guys first card okay so this dm or the twin that's in this karmic situation um they they have basically made a decision and they've made a decision to be stable we have the two of pentacles which is the juggling card usually but when i see this paired with the lovers um in the reverse I know that this person has made a decision they've made a decision to end the up and down they've made a decision to be more stable and to create a stable relationship and what they recognize is, is that this is not it this karmic situation is not it it's definitely not what they thought it would be and they are making moves right now to stabilize themselves and they know that the only way to stabilize themselves is to um, end this connection okay so this is what is happening there so this person has made a decision and they have they have chosen the divine connection they have made a decision so there's no more um choice between two this person has made a decision in this relationship no more of the up and down okay let's see what's happening in the divine union okay this this particular um group this DM wants to talk to you. Yeah. 
addicted. This one is obsessed. They just want another opportunity with you. That's what the music is saying right now. Anyone? See what I'm saying? Yeah, cocky bastard. Anyway, <laughs> two cards. Two cards. He's pretty sure of you. Okay, so yeah, this guy recognizes this this twin, DM, recognizes that you you are the empress. You are the empress in his eyes. Um, you are everything that he could ever hope for in a partner, nurturing, loving, leading from the heart, heart wide open. Um, they're seeing in you that connection between um, your spirituality, your emotions, um, um, your physical, your material abundance. Everything is aligned in you, and they feel that they're very much thinking about you know having a family with you because they know that you are able to nurture. You can nurture anything. You can see her hands. She can nurture anything, whether it's a project, a baby, whatever it is. This is how he sees you, and it's two major arcana. So this is this is like a big revelation for this guy. I I think it's pretty recent, right? It's really shook his world. He he recognizes. That this, you are the one. You are the one. You are the only one. Right? And he's now thinking about what are the sacrifices that have to be made to get to you. This hangman energy. So he's definitely, he's gotten a higher perspective. He's waded through his emotions. He's gotten a higher perspective. He's gotten a higher download. And he knows he must make the sacrifice. Whatever sacrifice that he must make with the karmic relationship, He's willing to make it. He's made up his mind. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what is the collective energy. We're gonna take two cards. That's gonna be that's DM. What's the energy board you guys are bringing in? I shouldn't say collective energy. Just what's the energy that you guys are bringing in right now? No, I should say collective energy. Yeah, it is the collective energy. I'm sorry. So that's not the end. This is collective energy. Sorry. Collective energy in this relationship. I have to read from the book. Okay. So what are you guys bringing in? Somebody's still indecisive. And I'm realizing it's on the Empress card. There's something that's going on with the DF in this relationship. Um, <clears throat> she She's at a crossroads. And she's the one that's more indecisive, actually, than the DM. Um, she's not sure. I'm not saying that she's not sure. She's been plagued by fear. She's thinking about all the things that have happened in the past. And she's just not sure if it's going to be different this time. And the reason why she's not sure, I think she has not communicated with her DM in a long time. So he's, she's really not sure if she, um, if he has changed. And this is what is making her indecisive. So she's like, you know, do I abandon this journey? Or do I run to my DM? Either way, it's a transformative process. And that's where she's at right now. But it's, 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 it's fair. It's fair. It's fair based on what happened in the past. So she has to let this go. She has to let this go because there's so much abundance that is here. He sees this abundance. He's willing to sacrifice for this abundance. And we have 11 here, 8 and 3. And then we have this 11 card here. So he's seen all the abundance that can be had in this relationship. I think they both do. They both do. They both do, but I'm get, I'm feeling heavily that the DF here, she's the one that's indecisive because right now she's thinking about fear. She's thinking about the past. 
She's thinking about the past. She doesn't want to be a victim like Red Riding Hood. She doesn't want to be a victim of her passion. That's what's happening with her. She wants to know is he the is he the big bad wolf? Or is he the huntsman that's come to protect? Hmm. Things are unforgettable. Okay. So let's see what does the twin that's watching this video have to work on. What does the twin that's watching this video have to work on while all this is happening? The twin that's watching this video is being called to leadership. How are you being called to step up and lead? Let me read from the book, right? How are you being called to step in and lead? We have priestess. Forty-six, ten, completions, ten reduced to one, beginnings. Okay. How are you being called to step up and lead? The priestess is a teacher dedicated to service, freedom, and leadership. You don't need to have it all together to lead. In fact, it helps if you don't. No one wants a perfect angel who hasn't made any mistakes. This is true. In fact, it's the ones that have been through the roughest patch that can be the best teacher. Let your life be your message. Don't underestimate the power of sharing your story. It's by hearing someone else's journey that we feel less alone. We recognize or we realize that we're actually all in this thing we call life together. The difference between a follower and a leader is that a leader has the courage to go first. In stepping out, they shine a light on the path for others to venture forward too. Don't fret too much about trying to work out who's your tribe. Don't get stuck in age, income, hobbies or occupation. The best way to discover your tribe is to look in the mirror. If you feel if you're being called if you feel called to lead, chances are it is because at some point in your life you long for someone to lead you. Your tribe are longing for exactly the same thing as you were or are, and might only be one step behind you. Hell, they might even be right alongside you. You don't need anyone's permission, just the courage to stand up. Embrace your struggle, the peaks, the scarcity. You don't need to know the way. Just believe that there might be a different one. Your tribe is waiting for you. Step forward so they can find you. How are you being called to step up and lead? How can you be the lead? How can you be the leader that you wish you had? So this is a call to step into mission. And I, I keep telling you guys about that. You know, it's the romance is important. It is important. Don't let anyone tell you. It is not. It is very important. Because when twins come into unity, that vibration is so strong. That's what inspires people to love again. No doubt about it. But at the same time, you have your own personal mission. So if you're being called to lead, and if you're a twin, you are being called to lead. You need to get on with it. Okay? Alright, so we're just going to get some messages now from his higher self. Two messages from his higher self. Two messages from his higher self. you this guy's made a decision he knows he knows he says I know this is a soul connection and look at number 11 he knows he knows it's twin flame I know this is a soul connection I know this because I've looked within and within I found that eternal light that hope I know I'm saving space inside for you I know that you light my fire I know, I know that this is a soul connection. 
I know that now. And that's why I'm willing to make these sacrifices. That's why I've gotten rid of the karmic. I'm making these moves. I'm making this move because I'm in full recognition that there's a treasure chest of love, abundance, and prosperity that awaits. Okay? So, pile number one, Rose Quartz. That was a reading. Let's get Claire Quartz now. Two cards for the energy of the connection. Sorry, the energy of the karmic connection. Let's see what's happening there. Okay. Let's see what's happening. And two number three cards. But the message is here. To me, it's quite clear. We have the three of pentacles in reverse. And we have the three of cups upright. This, this DM or this twin that's in this situation has gotten rid of the karmic relationship and is in celebration, actually. That's exactly what I'm seeing. They're no longer working together with the karmic because they recognize that the only way to have the peace and the joy that they envisioned for their life is to get rid of this relationship. They've gotten rid of the karmic, it's a, and it's, a, it's cause for celebration in their life because for a long time they did not have peace. For a long time they did not have joy. And they now recognize why. And that's why they've gotten rid of the karmic. This DM has gotten rid of the karmic. It's over. They're no longer working together. It's over. And he feels a sense of peace and joy that it is. He's let the joy back into his life. Let's see what's going on with you and him. What's he thinking about you and the connection? His, his heart is wide open. Um, he's finally gained that wisdom. He's finally gained that wisdom. And this wisdom is leading him to offer something more stable. I mean, this is a higher fund. This is a marriage and commitment card. This is what he wants to offer to you. He's finally gotten that courage to take a look at what he's created. And he's recognizing this is not what he wants. So he's turning his back on it. This is a karmic relationship. He's turning his back on it and pressing forward, being led by the divine. The divine has been his loyal companion through this whole process. He's finally gained that wisdom. And his heart is cracked wide open. He may have been closed off before, but now he is leading. He's being led by his heart. He's being led by his heart and his heart is telling him, he must approach you. He must come towards you. Again, major arcana and um, heart chakra activation. So big changes happening in this DM's life as well. So very much like pal number one. Except that I do think that this particular guy, I think he's, he's, he's moved out. If they were together, he's moved out of the karmic relationship. It's over. The other one made a decision. I'm not sure if he, he's, he's left. But this one, I think he's left. He's left. Let's see the collective energy between you and him. It was in reverse. I have to do it like that. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, this guy is getting over heartbreak. I told you, he's left. Because this came out in the reverse. He's getting over heartbreak. Whatever heartbreak that he's feeling from the karmic relationship, he's getting over the heartbreak, right? So he's going to go through a little debriefing process. And this is card number, number nine, right? So he is now looking at the karmic relationship, seeing what went wrong, taking responsibility for the part that he played in it. Because you can't rest all of this on the karmic. This was his choice as well. And it takes two to make the dynamics work in a particular relationship. So if the karmic relationship was toxic, trust me, at least half of that was him. So he's recognizing what are the toxic patterns in myself that created that particular situation. So he's healing. He's healing this broken heart. Because I told you, he thought that the karmic relationship was a divine union. So he's healing this broken heart and he's accepting responsibility for the part that he played in creating that toxicity. And we have another number nine. So this guy is doing deep introspection. And I'm looking here as well. And um, it's five and four, so that's nine. And then we have three and three. Three times three is nine. So this, this guy is all about introspection right now. So if you don't hear from him, don't worry. He is just evaluating himself and really doing some serious healing. Really taking a look at himself, the man in the mirror. And he's here holding his heart. Because he, he has identified who he needs to offer his heart to. He's just waiting for the right moment. The divine brought him to this place. The divine brought him to this place. He's just waiting for the right moment when he is properly healed to offer this card, this heart, to the one. He's holding his heart. He's ready to offer that gift. And it's in the hand that gives. See, it's in the right hand. It's in the hand that gives, not the hand that receives. He's ready to give his heart to someone. Okay? Because he recognizes the abundance that can be had. So whilst he's doing this deep healing work, the twin watching, whilst they are doing that deep healing work, the twin watching this video, what do you need to be doing? <laughs> It says you need to wait, postpone, pause, say no. It says no. So make no movement towards this guy. Allow him to go through his tower moment. Allow him to make the realizations that make that deep-seated change. Allow him to be destabilized and then brought back together again by the universe. Let me read. So don't approach this guy. We know that he's gotten rid of the karmic relationship. Don't approach this guy. Allow him to do to be destabilized and to be brought back again by the divine. Allow the divine to work. It says you are being called to either pause or to say no. Saying yes to something that isn't in alignment with you will drain your energy and your time. Hold out for a congruent, 100% aligned yes. Often when we are looking for guidance to make a decision, it can be frustrating not to move into clear and considered action. However, timing, timing is everything. And not receiving clear guidance is actually guidance in itself. We all go through times known as waiting periods. These times are crucial for our body to regenerate. And I told you, this is what he's doing. It's regeneration. He's healing. The new path to formulate and the universe to be green, creating new things on our behalf. You don't need to be plowing forward all the time to move forward. A congruent yes will come when the time is right and it will put you ahead leaps and bounds. Don't force things now just because it seems like the only option. Take a breather and wait. The waiting is actually very productive for when the time for movement comes, you'll be ready to dive right in. Use this time to regenerate and ponder what you really want and that's exactly what he's doing right now. Consider the options. If the options are not clear, don't fear. Because this time is a gift. Use it to tend to your garden and take a rest. To take a moment from your busy life. To clear the decks and prepare, the t and prepare for the time in the future. For come spring, which is now, <laughs> clarity will bloom. 
and you will have the reserves, the space, and the drive to say yes and to act and move quickly. So right now, say no, postpone, wait, do not approach this guy. We know that the relationship with the karmic is over, but allow him to go through his process, his grieving process, his reflective process, that whole debriefing, allow him to do that because it's going to make him or this twin a better partner for you. Let's get um, two messages from his, for his, from his higher self. Hmm. Alright, we've got three. And seem, three seems to be his magic number, right? So let's see, let's see what, what's going on with him. <coughs> oh, I see. He wants you to know that the distance between you guys is killing him. It really is. The distance between us is killing me. But I have to work on my addictions. I have to work on my toxic patterns. I'm not ready right now. But I will be ready to defend this connection in due course. I do plan to. And it's another number nine. I do plan to. But right now, I have to focus on myself. I have to focus on healing myself. And I'm getting the, the I'm getting here that this DM he may be battling you know um it could be substance abuse it could be maybe he was addicted to um, toxic relationship patterns so he really wants to get rid of these so he can be that better person for you okay so allow him and that's why these cards work your light was saying no because he has to work on this. He has to work on himself. This has nothing to do with the karmic relationship. I really do believe in this pile, it is over. It's done. But he has to work on himself. There's work on himself that he needs to do right now. He's not going to be any good to you. Okay? Allow him to go through this. So, <clears throat> look like what's that one's your reading. Let's do Amazonite, my second favorite step. Let's see. What's the energy of the karmic relationship? So all of these reads are very much in alignment with our longer DM downloads that we were doing before. So it's really continuing on the same wavelength. It's just that we're seeing a bit more progression. Some people have left. And others are getting ready to leave. Okay, let's see what's happening here. What's happening with this guy? Hmm. <clears throat> the passion has died in this relationship, but he's still committed. He's still committed. This could be someone that's um, a, a, in a marriage, actually. And the passion has died, but there's still this obligation or commitment here. I'm going to pull one more card for this connection, actually. Let's get a clearer message. There's no love, there's no passion, but there's an obligation here. Let me see what this obligation is. Oh, let, let, me, let me do that for you. So one should be clear what's happening. Why is the five why is the four of wands here? I said five, I almost said five of wands. Maybe it's conflict, you know. Why is the four of wands here? So there's no passion, there's no love, but there's some sort of obligation. Up here, that's keeping this person stuck. Let me see. Good God, no communication reading, right? <laughs> and it's just giving me the the no love, no love. Oh, this, okay, I get it. Um, this person is not emotionally mature yet. Not emotionally mature. Hmm. Um, I'm getting that, um, it, with this guy, he has a weird concept of what love is. He thinks, um, Love is obligation. And that's why he's still here. 
he knows there's no passion he knows there's no love he does not feel that that connection but he's not emotionally mature yet so he's still thinking that the love is obligation let's see what's happening in um the divine unit. let's see how he's perceiving and processing your connection let's see what's going on there there's an obligation that's keeping him there but i'm thinking also it's, it's a toxic pattern it's how it's how he processes love yeah and this card says it all he's just suffering in silence isn't he this guy knows that you are his twin because this is my twin flame card in this deck right he knows okay he knows and this was causing all this grief and all the suffering but he's not leaving because he thinks love is suffering he thinks love is obligation he knows he knows you're his twin he's plagued by memories of you like he's not sleeping it's a lot of anxiety it's a lot of depression but there's an obligation here that's keeping him stuck there's that obligation here he knows it. there's no passion there's no love there's nothing like that but there's an obligation that's keeping him stuck let's see what's the collective energy i'll pull some extra messages from his higher self for you so let's see how what what's really on his mind remember when you get these reading remember this is just the current energy of the moment okay this could change tomorrow honestly it's just the current energy of the moment so you, you don't have to be triggered by these readings what you just need to do is take the advice know exactly where you're at and you just keep pressing on with your journey because you know the work that you do is what helps them i mean in a very immediate sort of way I did um my Reiki attunement. Yeah. This is what is blocking this guy. Um I did my Reiki um an attunement to Reiki that was last Sunday. You know, and I know it's it's a gift that's passed on from um master to student, right? So you actually receive the, this power, this healing energy. So I was there doing that. It was a very intense experience for me. And it was a tense, an intense experience for the Reiki master that was doing it. And it was, it was an amazing thing, you know, you, uh, to receive. It was, it was just amazing. A very powerful moment. And then my, my phone was off. And then I clicked on my phone. And then I saw that on my DM's profile, he had changed his pick to a warrior. This strong, proud African warrior. So whilst I was receiving the power, I'm going to leave it just like this. Whilst I was receiving the power, he decided to stand in his. And that, that's just how immediate that energetic connection can work. So the moment you decide to work on yourself is the moment that they also will feel that energetic, that energetic pull to work on themselves as well. So whatever you do, it really does help them. Okay. So... Blossom in abundance and it's in reverse. And you see, it's because of the delay. It's because of the delay. It's because of the third party. He knows there's lots of abundance here. He can see it. He can feel it. He knows because he knows that you're his twin. But this obligation, this family he might have here is keeping him stuck. He can visualize the happy family that he will have with you. He knows about the abundance that we have with you. But all of this is in limbo. Because this card was like this, and this card was reversed. All this is in limbo because he's not making that shift in his brain, in his head, to move. It, it, it's all it's all emotion, it's all mental energy, but it's it's not action. The only action card that was here is a Knight of Wands, and it's in it's in reverse, and it wasn't a karmic situation. So he's just not taking action, and that's why these this abundance and this happy family is it, it's delayed so it's it's not completely blocked it's just delayed 
you know, and you can make that energetic shift. If you work on yourself, continue working on yourself, he is going to as well. All right, let's, I'm going to take some messages. I'm going to take four messages for you. Oh, no, let me get the, um, your guidance, what you should be doing right now. Okay, let's see what you need to be working on to create that energetic shift that will make you make a decision and to leave. Let's see, what do you need to be working on to make that, make that energetic shift? Okay. So anytime you watch these readings, know that this is just the current energy for the moment. It can change at any time. So it says, keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So know that your spiritual support team, your ancestors, your guardian angels, they're all working with you to bring this together. So you don't have to worry. You just need to focus on your path. Okay, let me see what is the message for you. It's not about if it will happen, this is when. Keepers of the earth, 100. So that's new beginnings, right? One. Okay, let's see what it's saying. You are so supported, you do not stand alone. You have a magnificent team of helpers, both in this world and of the earth who are here to help you every step of the way. Call upon them for assistance. They are here to help. The keepers of the earth acknowledge the work that you have already done and are ready to work through you. They bow at your feet and thank you for waiting, for wanting to stand for them, to devote your life to protecting the earth in your, in your unique way. It is time to increase your capacity to receive support in the physical realm. This can come in the form of financial abundance, acts of services from strangers, or, per or persons flocking to help you and your work. The only thing that is stopping you right now is your capacity to receive support. You deserve to be rewarded for the work that you are doing. You do not need to go at it alone. Call upon the keepers of the earth to help you and your mission. Open your heart and your mind to receive it more than you ever thought possible. What kind of support do you need? Call it in right away. And it says, I am open to receiving a whole new level of support for my life and my work and I call it in now thank you thank you thank you so just know that you're not alone there's assistance that's readily on hand that's going to help you and it could be in the form of other people in your life as well as your spiritual support team okay let's get we're gonna get four messages from your DM because you know we need to know why he's not moving Why is there just, you know, being caught up in his depression and anxiety? guy has a lot of self-doubt there's just a lot of self-doubt that's working and, that, and that's what's keeping him stuck in this relationship and I told you about the emotional immaturity it, 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 it's it's lack of self-love it, it, it's the, the toxic pack patterns that he, he grew up seeing there's a lot of um, issues that he needs to work out but he wants to know that I do love you I love you I do you you are the promise i know that you are the promise i do love you and i promise you that i am working on myself it's just that i have so much self-doubt i i don't feel lovable i feel worthless i feel ugly i i don't know if you'll accept me i don't know if you really love me how can you love me after everything that i've done everything that i am how can you love me and i'm just not ready what you have for what you have to offer right what you have to offer right now i'm not i'm not ready but i do love you i know this i know that i love you i know that we can have a happy home i know that we can be abundant i know that you are my twin but this self-doubt plagues me the anxiety the depression i know it's not rational but this is how i feel 
but never doubt. I do love you. Okay, guys. So, this was your DM download. Pick a card reading for today. I really hope that it helps. And, you know, don't be discouraged, okay? If you picked a pile that was a little rough, don't be discouraged. Remember, this is just the energy of the moment. It can change like this. Okay, guys. Well, this was your reading. Take care. And remember, if you want to um, pre-order my Divine Counterparts and Separation deck, you just email me at madeforlove at gmail.com. Or if you just want to indicate your interest and when it's all um, printed and ready to ship out, you want me to alert you and then you make your payment then, you can do that as well, okay? All right, guys. Take care. Okay, bye.